To whom it may concern, I'm contacting you to complain about my recent experience in the discount bookshop, specifically the branch in West Montuan. Specifically, it was located in what's known as the Literal Shopping Centre, or something like that. I had travelled all the way from a neighbouring town specifically to visit the shop because I'd heard great things about the art products that you offer. I myself am an artist and understand the importance of quality, so wished to visit the store to buy some art supplies and give my opinion on how good they really are. I must say that on entering the store initially, I was disappointed that there was no one to greet me at the door. Some members of staff were around, setting up displays and working in the till area, and although they did offer a smile, I was very upset that none of them were there to greet me as I walked through the door. I'd come a long way, so it would be nice to feel welcome and appreciated as a paying customer. Good first impressions go a long way, and I think that moving forward there should be a greeter at the door of every branch of the discount bookshop. Once inside, I stood by the entrance for a good while, waiting for a member of staff to come over and see how they could help me. I was waiting for a long time and had to cough a few times in order to get the attention of anyone working in the shop. Eventually, a member of staff who I don't know the name of said, Can I help? But I found her tone of voice rather abrupt and unprofessional. I wanted to make a point of how long I'd been standing there unnoticed, so responded with, Ah, finally, someone notices me. Where are your art supplies? To which the member of staff points to the wall behind me and simply says, Just behind you. I tell you, I couldn't believe it. She didn't even walk over to show me or anything. She simply told me to look behind me. I've never known anything like it. Something needs to change there because as far as I'm concerned, that is utterly unacceptable. Having received that attitude from the staff member, I turned around and there was a large collection of art supplies on the wall and the table. How she didn't think to point that out as soon as I walked through the door, I have no idea. But nevertheless, I found them eventually. I decided to start with purchasing one product, as I have such an extensive collection of art supplies at home, collected from all over the world whilst on my travels as an artist. I decided upon a tin of 100 oil pastels to start off with, and as it was such a large number of them inside the packaging, I thought it best if I counted them, just to be sure that all 100 were in there. I could see nowhere to count them, so took them to the till counter and started taking the packaging apart. At this point, no members of staff were there to help me take the packaging apart, so there ended up being a large rip in the front. I tipped all of the oil pastels out onto the counter and began counting, when a queue started forming behind me. Out of nowhere, a staff member then appeared at the till and asked if I was ready to pay. I said that I was merely trying to check the number of pastels in the box, and she replied that there will be 100 because they're brand new and she'd only just put them out on the wall. I politely explained that I'd just like to check because you never know. And honestly, the response she had was like I just told her that we'd run out of apples at an apple store or something. Extremely rude and unprofessional. She then proceeded to huff and puff before moving over to another till to continue serving customers on there. I wasn't going to have my confidence knocked, so I followed my head and continued to count the oil pastels. Of course, because there were so many, some ended up falling to the floor, and because there were no members of staff to help me, I just had to pick them up myself. After some time of counting and recounting, I found that there were indeed 100 oil pastels in the packaging. I tried my best to put them back in the box and took them over to the other till to make my purchase. I did consider asking for a reduction in the price due to the large tear in the packaging made when I had to count them, but this particular member of staff didn't seem very reasonable to me, so I simply didn't bother. Instead, I bought the oil pastels and returned home. Upon returning home, I was having a look at the pastels I had purchased and noticed that there was a particular shade of blue missing from the pack. I counted them once more and realised that there were only 99. I immediately phoned the shop and said that it must have been missed when I put them back into their packaging. The staff member said that they couldn't see it by the till, and I asked them to have a good look. They said that they still couldn't see it, so I asked if they could send me a replacement oil pastel. They said that they couldn't do that, and that I'd have to go back into store if I wanted to sort something out. At this point, I was offended. I said that there was no way I was going to set foot in that shop again until I'd received my oil pastel, and promptly hung up the phone. 
It has now been multiple days since that incident and I have yet to receive an apology from that member of staff or my replacement oil pastel. I've had to put my artwork on hold until I receive it as the other shades of blue are simply not right for my project. I hope you understand how serious this is and follow the appropriate actions going forward. That was the first and last time I'll be shopping with the discount bookshop. I await your response and compensation for this ongoing saga. From Helen Margarita Radcliffe.